Hello everyone. Welcome to Wonder Slate. Topic for today's quiz is Force and Pressure. Question number 1. In science, a push or a pull on an object is called a dash. Option A. Force. Option B. Energy. Option C. Work. Option D. None of the above. The correct answer is Option A. Force. Force is push or pull. It can do so many things like causing movement, change the speed, change in the direction of motion, change the shape and size. Forces are always due to interaction. Question number 2. The strength of a force is usually expressed by its Option A. Direction. Option B. Magnitude. Option C. Pressure. Option D. None of the above. The correct answer is Option B. Magnitude. The strength of a force is usually expressed by its magnitude. When two forces act on a body in opposite direction, the resultant force will be in the direction of greater force and the magnitude will be the difference between the two forces. Question number 3. The state of motion of an object is described by its and the direction of motion. Option A. Speed. Option B. Force. Option C. Magnitude. Option D. None of the above. The correct answer is Option A. Speed. A change in either the speed of an object or its direction of motion, or both, is described as a change in its state of motion. Thus, a force may bring a change in the state of motion of an object. The state of motion of an object is described by its speed and the direction of motion. The state of rest is considered to be the state of zero speed. An object may be at rest or in motion. Both are its states of motion. Question number 4. Two main types of force are and option a newton and pascal option b pressure and magnitude option c contact and non-contact option d none of the above the correct answer is option c contact and non-contact types of force are contact and non-contact force under contact force we have muscular and frictional force. And under non-contact force there are magnetic, gravitational, electrostatic, and nuclear force. Question number 5. The force resulting due to the action of muscles is known as the force. Option A. Muscle. Option B. Muscular. Option C. Hand. Option D. None of the above. The correct answer is Option B. Muscular. Muscular force is a contact force. It is the force applied by muscles of the body, animals, birds and insects to apply muscular force. Example lifting school bag, bull pulling a cart etc. Question number 6. Force is a contact force acting between two surfaces in contact and tending to oppose motion. Option A. Muscular. Option B. Frictional. Option C. Magnetic. Option D. None of the above. The correct answer is Option B. Frictional. Frictional force is a contact force acting between two surfaces in contact and tending to oppose motion. This force slows down or stops the object. Frictional force produces heat and cause wear and tear. Example writing, walk, light a matchstick etc. Question number 7. A force associated with magnets is called, force. Option A. Iron. Option B. Magnetic. Option C. Magnitude. Option D. None of the above. The correct answer is Option B. 
Magnetic. It is a non-contact force. The force associated with magnets is called magnetic force. Magnets attract iron, steel, nickel, cobalt. The area of force around a magnet is called magnetic field. Earth also has magnetic field. Example magnetic compass, magnetic separator. Question number 8. The force in which Earth attracts all the objects towards itself is called force. Option A. Magnetic. Option B. Electrostatic. Option C. Gravitational. Option D. None of the above. The correct answer is Option C. Gravitational. The force in which Earth attracts all the objects towards itself is called gravitational force. Gravitational force is exerted between any two objects but it is negligible when compared to the Earth's gravitational force. The object with more mass exerts greater gravitational force. Example anything thrown up will come down. Question number 9. The force exerted by a charged body on another charged or uncharged body is known as force. Option A. Magnetic. Option B. Electrostatic. Option C. Gravitational. Option D. None of the above. The correct answer is. Option B. Electrostatic. The force exerted by a charged body on another charged or uncharged body is known as electrostatic force. This force comes into play even when the bodies are not in contact. The electrostatic force, therefore, is another example of a non-contact force. Example it is used to remove solid pollutants from the smoke. Question number 10. The effect of force on given area is called. Option A. Pressure. Option B. Energy. Option C. Magnitude. Option D. None of the above. The correct answer is Option A. Pressure. The effect of force on given area is called pressure. Pressure is defined as force per unit area. Pressure equals force slash area. Note. Dash. 1. Area less pressure is more. 2. Area more pressure is less. 3. Force less pressure less. 4. Force more pressure more. It is easier to push a nail into a wooden door through its pointed end than through its blunt end, because small area of the pointed end helps in creating more pressure and it becomes easier to insert the nail. Question number 11. The SI unit of pressure is. Option A. Newton. Option B. Pascal. Option C. Kelvin. Option D. None of the above. The correct answer is. Option B. Pascal. The Pascal is the unit of pressure in the International System of Units, SI. It is named after the scientist Blaise Pascal. One Pascal is equivalent to one Newton of force applied over an area of one meter squared. Question number 12. The pressure exerted by the liquids is called pressure. Option A. Liquid. Option B. Water. Option C. Electrostatic. Option D. None of the above. The correct answer is. Option A. Liquid. The pressure exerted by the liquids is called liquid pressure. It doesn't depend upon the area. It is dependent on the height. It also depends upon the density of the liquid. It is measured with the help of an instrument called manometer. Question number 13. Liquid pressure increases with dash. Option A. Width. Option B. Weight. Option C. Height. Option D. None of the above. The correct answer is. Option C. Height. Water tanks are always placed higher, above the building because liquid pressure increases with height. 
Question number 14. The pressure exerted by air due to the weight is called pressure. Option A. Atmospheric. Option B. Air. Option C. Nature. Option D. None of the above. The correct answer is Option A. Atmospheric. The air layer surrounding our Earth is called atmosphere. The pressure exerted by air due to the weight is called atmospheric pressure. Atmospheric pressure decreases with increase in altitude height so mountaineers carry oxygen cylinder with them. Question number 15. The SI unit of force is Option A. Pascal. Option B. Newton. Option C. Kelvin. Option D. None of the above. The correct answer is Option B. Newton. SI unit of force is Newton. It is represented by N. It is named after Sir Isaac Newton because of his work on classical mechanics. A Newton is how much force is required to make a mass of 1 kg accelerate at a rate of 1 meter per second squared. Force has both magnitude and direction. Question number 16. A solid weighs 400 and force. Is the pressure exerted by it on a wooden table of area 5 square meters? Option A. 80 Pascal. Option B. 100 Pascal. Option C. 200 Pascal. Option D. None of the above. The correct answer is Option A. 80 Pascal. Pressure equals force. Area. Pressure equals 400 N. 5 square meters. Pressure equals 80 Pascal. Question number 17. Force always opposes motion. Option A. Magnetic force. Option B. Electrostatic force. Option C. Friction. Option D. Muscular force. The correct answer is Option C. Friction. Friction is the force that opposes the motion of an object. It is not a fundamental force, like gravity or electromagnetism. Instead, scientists believe it is the result of the electromagnetic attraction between charged particles in two touching surfaces. Question number 18. Which of the following possess gravitation? Option A. Earth. Option B. Venus. Option C. Saturn. Option D. All of the above. The correct answer is Option D. All of the above. Gravitation is the attractive force existing between any two objects that have mass. The force of gravitation pulls objects together. Gravity is the gravitational force that occurs between the Earth and other bodies. Gravity is the force acting to pull objects toward the Earth. Question number 19. A dropper to fill ink works because of, of the following. Option A. Friction. Option B. Magnetic force. Option C. Air pressure. Option D. Electrostatic force. The correct answer is Option C. Air pressure. When we press the bulb of a dropper with its nozzle kept in ink, air in the dropper is seen to escape in the form of bubbles and creates the vacuum in the bulb. Once we release the pressure on the bulb, ink gets filled in the dropper because the pressure in ink is more than the pressure in the bulb so ink moves from the higher pressure to the lower pressure. Question number 20. When two forces act in opposite directions, then net force acting two forces. Option A. Sum of two factors. Option B. Difference between two factors. Option C. Both of these. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is. Option B. Difference between two factors. If two forces act on an object in the same direction then the net force is equal to the difference between the two forces. 
If two forces act on an object in the opposite direction then the net force is equal to their addition of forces. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like